Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I am going to be taste testing a new flavor of Samyang Ramen. Today's Samyang Ramen flavor is... This one, hot chicken flavor ramen, but it's the light version of it. I'm going to show you everything up close, the front, the back, the contents. So let's get started. Here it is up close, the Samyang Bulldog Light Hot Chicken Flavor Ramen. Samyang is now introducing a new light version of the very popular hot spicy noodles. Check it out. This is non-fried. It is 40% less spicy and 28% less calories than regular Bulldog Ramen. Bulldog Ramen. How do you say that? I don't know. It is halal certified. You can also see made in Korea. Now these come at 110 grams. Hey, where's my other 10 grams? Okay, at the back of the packaging, you can see the cooking instructions. I am going to follow these cooking instructions exactly. Of course, adding in a little bit of, you know, my own thing. Alrighty, let's see what treasures await us. Okay, so I have opened the packet and you, as you can see, this is a noodle block. Noodle block is rectangular noodles. Noodle cake is the circular, circular noodles, is that how you say it? The noodles are made from wheat flour, modified potato starch, modified tapioca starch, wheat gluten, salt, emulsifier is soy lecithin, onion extract, acid, acidity regulator, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, dibasic, herb extract. And these noodles are on the thinner side, uh, unlike the traditional Samyang noodles. Up next, we have the flakes. Love the packaging of all their ramen flavors. The flakes, they have kept it very traditional with the ever familiar roasted sesame seeds and roasted seaweed. Up next, we have the liquid soup base. Yes, they're keeping it on brand. The liquid soup base brings in that intensity and that heat. This pouch contains the spicy elixir. The liquid sauce consists of water, soy sauce, white sugar, artificial chicken flavor powder, artificial chicken flavor, chili pepper powder, red pepper powder, soybean oil, Onion flavor enhancer is monosodium glutamate, good old MSG, red pepper seed oil, garlic modified potato starch, paprika extract, decolorized chili extract, black pepper powder, curry powder. Alert and alert, these noodles contain wheat, gluten, soy, sesame. Other than that, it is also manufactured in a facility that also processes some of the well-known allergens. So everyone, we saw everything in detail. Let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. Okay, we're here at the other kitchen. So I have all the things ready. That's the draining station right there. 600 ml of bottled water. The noodles that we're gonna cook today. Pot, pot. And our toppings, which are also going to be added later on. So I have a teaspoon of butter, some capsicum, sweet corn. That's the sauce from the noodles. Some broccoli and some spring onions. And the flakies, the seaweed flakes, and the roasted sesame seeds. Okay, so let's get started. As always, what do I get started with? It is... The topping. Get the pan nice and hot with a teaspoon of butter. Now make the heat low. And we're just gonna be adding everything in. There's like there's nothing like too much to it. Corn, capsicum, spring onion, broccoli. This is going to be cooking over low heat while we're making our noodles. Okay, what are we trying to achieve with this? We just want like a little browning of the vegetables. Once that's done, you can switch it off. So that's going to be just cooking over on a low heat. Let's not worry about that. On to the noodles. Okay, so what's happening here? Turn it on, 600 ml of bottled water, let that come to a boil and then we add our noodles. Now it hasn't boiled yet, 
The water is at a rolling boil, so we're going to add our noodles. We have to cook this for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. That's very specific. Make sure you separate the noodles and they are actually submerged in the boiling water so they cook properly, evenly. Okay, see you in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, where did you come from? You're too precious. You're like a fancy sparrow. You're tiny. Are you someone's pet? You're not scared of me at all. I mean, I'm standing very close to you. Hello. Okay, I did some research. This is actually a zebra finch. They are very attractive birds, as you can see right here. They are dimorphic, which means you can tell the sexes apart by looking at them. Now, the male is distinguished from the female by its orange chestnut cheek patches, as you can see right here. A character that gave the species the alternative name of the chestnut-eared finch. We have to get back to our noodles. I am so happy to get broccoli. It is a great source of fiber and protein and contains iron, potassium, calcium, selenium and magnesium as well as the vitamins A, C, E, K and a good array of B vitamins including folic acid. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Turn off the heat at this point. It is going to do something which is known as residual cooking, also called carryover cooking, is when the food continues to cook after it has been removed from a heat source. So the heat held within the food itself raises its overall temperature before it starts to cool down. It's a gentler radiating heat that equalizes the temperature throughout the food and it pretty much looks like how we want it to look at this point. The noodles look good. They have been cooking vigorously for about four minutes now. It's gonna be time soon to get them out. Okay, time's up. I'm just going to drain it. Because we need to have how many spoons? Eight spoons of water we're supposed to keep from this. So let's go over there and finish our cooking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're supposed to add our sauce. Mm. Make sure you use a spatula to get it all. Adding the noodles. And now stir fry for 30 seconds. 30 seconds are up. I've also made a fried egg. And that we're going to add after we plate our noodles, okay? Let's plate. Okay, time to add the flakes. Add an egg. Can I just take it like that? Time to eat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Take your bite. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. These are great. Kind of like just the right amount of spiciness. And the noodles are also thin. But they haven't lost a chewy texture as well. That's great. Mm -mm. Okay, adding in the toppings, totally optional up to you, but I do it because it just provides the additional textures which are needed to liven up the chewy noodles.
I like the slightly ruddy jelly consistency of the yolk. Mm-hmm. Perfecto. Now the seaweed that you see here kind of has like a smelly aroma to it, but you get used to it. It tastes great when it's all combined. I would go for these because these are less spicy. If you cannot tolerate spice at all, go ahead and get these and then you can do uh, toppings. And it, the butter also really helps bring the spiciness down. These light versions of the Samyang noodles was indeed milder and friendlier to the stomach. Despite the reduced spiciness, these noodles retained their addictiveness. It always leaves you wanting more and more. So yummy. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, a lot of is. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!